Are you struggling to organize your thoughts or bring structure to your creative chaos? Well, me too. Or at least that's how I used to feel until I found MindNode, a mind mapping tool designed for Apple users to turn cluttered ideas into clear, actionable plans. MindNode simplifies the overwhelming process of organizing your thoughts. Whether you're tackling a big project, outlining some creative ideas, or just managing your everyday tasks, it's clean and intuitive design ensures that your ideas flow effortlessly, making it an accessible tool for anyone looking to bring structure to their thinking, from seasoned professionals to students juggling their busy class schedules. MindNode isn't just another app for creating mind maps. It integrates with Apple's Mac OS, iOS, and the upcoming Vision OS, making it a great choice for those in the Apple ecosystem. So in today's review, we'll explore its core features, strengths, pricing, and even some of its drawbacks to help you decide if it's the right tool for you. Core features of MindNode. Mind mapping made easy. At its heart, MindNode is about simplifying the process, brainstorming, and organizing your ideas. Just imagine sitting down with a blank piece of paper and a pen, ready to map out everything swirling in your mind. Now imagine that experience digitized, where the paper has no edges, the pen has unlimited colors, and you can move your ideas around effortlessly. That's what MindNode offers. Creating nodes, which are the building blocks of your mind map, is as simple as clicking and typing. Each node can represent an idea, a task, or a thought, and these nodes can be connected to show relationships and hierarchies. So whether you're creating a plan for a work project or outlining the chapters of your next novel, you can start with a single idea and let it branch out organically. The app's NodeWell makes adding new branches seamless. Need to tweak the layout? You can just drag and drop. Everything feels super intuitive and smooth, even for first time users. Task management. My node isn't just for creative brainstorming. It also shines when it comes to turning ideas into actionable tasks. So let's say that you're planning a new business launch. Launch. You've brainstormed everything from marketing strategies to product features. With MindNode, you can transform those ideas into tasks complete with checkboxes. These tasks can even sync with tools like Apple Reminders, Things 3, or OmniFocus so that you're always on top of what needs to get done. For everyday users, this means you can create a grocery list, a travel itinerary, or even a workout plan and track your progress directly within the app or through one of its integrations. It's a small feature that adds a lot of value, making MindNode more than just a brainstorming tool. Styling and customization. Let's talk about making your mind maps look great. MindNode understands that a messy mind map can feel overwhelming. So they've included plenty of options to help you organize and beautify your work. You can color code nodes to represent different categories, apply themes for a polished look, and even add visual tags for quick context. These visual tags are especially handy when dealing with large, complex maps because they act like sticky notes, drawing your attention to what matters most. And then there are stickers. MindNode offers over 250 built-in stickers that you can add to nodes to make them pop. Whether it's a light bulb icon for a new idea or a calendar icon for a deadline, these stickers make your map not only more engaging, but also more functional. It's like adding a personal touch to your brainstorming session. Folding and focus mode. When your mind map starts to grow, and trust me it will, things can get a little chaotic. And that's where folding comes in. Folding allows you to collapse parts of your map, hiding details that you don't need to focus on right now. It's a great way to keep your workspace tidy and your mind focused. For even more focus, the app includes a focus mode. This feature dims out everything except the specific branch or node that you're working on. You can think of it as shining a spotlight on the task at hand while everything else fades into the background. It's a subtle but effective way to reduce distractions, especially when working on detailed projects. Export options. Now once your mind map's complete, sharing it is a breeze. Mind nodes supports a wide range of export formats, including PDF, DOCX, CSV, and plain text. You can also export your maps as images, making it easy to include them in presentations or reports. So whether you're collaborating with a team or sharing ideas with a client, MindNode ensures that your work is accessible and professional. Features exclusive to MindNode Next. So MindNode Next is the future of brainstorming, introducing immersive and collaborative tools that really push the boundaries of what mind mapping can do. Immersive brainstorming. So picture this, you're wearing an Apple Vision Pro headset and instead of looking at a screen, you're surrounded by your ideas. Nodes float around you like colorful pills and you can reach out, grab them and move them into place. This is the kind of experience that MindNode Next promises. It's mind mapping reimagined for the age of spatial computing. This level of immersion makes brainstorming feel more dynamic and interactive. It's not just about jotting down ideas, it's about engaging with them in a whole new way. So whether you're working 
working alone or collaborating with a team, the ability to physically interact with your ideas adds a unique layer of creativity. Real-time collaboration. So collaboration has always been a challenge in mind mapping tools, but MindNode Next changes the game. With real-time collaboration, you can invite team members to work on the same map simultaneously. It's like having a digital whiteboard that everyone can contribute to, whether they're in the same room or across the globe. Imagine planning a product launch with your marketing team or brainstorming a screenplay with your writing partner. The possibilities here are really endless. Inline Inspector. Now, one of the standout features of MindNode Next is the Line Inspector. Instead of navigating through your menus to style your nodes, you can make changes directly on the map. So you want to change the color of a node or add a sticker? Just click and adjust. This streamlined approach keeps you focused on your work without breaking your flow. Ease of use. So one of the reasons MindNode stands out is how easy it is to use. You don't need to be tech savvy or have any prior experience with a mind mapping tool to get started. The interface is really clean and just feels intuitive and it guides you through the process without overwhelming you with options. The quick entry feature deserves a special mention. So whether you're on Mac or iPhone, you can start a new mind map in seconds. Just jot down your ideas and the app takes care of organizing them into nodes. Accessibility is another area where MindNode excels. The app supports larger fonts, multiple languages, and focus modes, ensuring that it's usable by everyone regardless of their needs or preferences. Okay, so I just opened up MindNode and we have a brand new mind mapping session here. So let's go ahead and walk through some of the features. So here we have sort of that main idea. And again, you can use MindNode for everything, but let's say you're, you know, writing a YouTube script on how to get started with MindNode. So right here, maybe you'd put something like how to get started with MindNode. And then I can either go ahead and press tab, or if I hover over this, we'll see this little plus sign here. And by pressing that plus sign, I create a branch. So maybe we'll just, you know, maybe we want to have five different sort of sections of this video. I'm just going to press one and enter twice to get a new branch. We'll press two, three, four, five. So number one, download MindNode. Number two, open a new document. Start mind mapping. Customize your work. And lastly, we'll go share your work. And then maybe step one has more steps than just that. So I can go ahead and press tab again, and we'll say, click the link down in the description. Choose either standalone app or a set app. Subscription, open MindNode, click new. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting to, you know, build our mind map out here. Now, what's really great with MindNode is that you can go ahead and just move anything that you want to move. I'm gonna go ahead and make this just a hair bigger here. So let's say for some reason, um, I thought that, you know, um, customize should go before start mind mapping. I could grab this here at the base of the branch and just move it right up like that. Or if for some reason on accident, you know, go crazy, I wanted that to go down here, I could just grab it and attach it to that and then it'll become a branch off of here. So what's great about MindNote is really its flexibility. You can move it however you see fit and what makes sense for you. Now taking a look at that focus mode. So what we could go ahead and do here is let's say I just wanted to focus on step one here. I can go ahead and right click right here and hit enter focus. And then as you can see, everything else gets kind of dimmed out and we're really just focusing on this single node here, which is great. Now, if I press escape, it'll exit that. Now, let's say I want to fold this note. I can go ahead and right click and go to fold note. And then we see this little arrow here. So if I click on that, it'll expand it. Now here on Mac, if I go ahead and hold down the option key, it'll uh, show this little thing here so I can fold it right there. But if I wanted to fold it here, again, press option. And you can also go ahead and fold multiple nodes at once. Just go ahead and select all of these. We'll go ahead and right click, fold node, and there we go. Okay, now with everything expanded, let's go ahead and take a look at the top here. This is another way that we can go ahead and enter the focus mode just by clicking this right here. If let's say I had this selected, I could click here, enter focus, and again, that'll enter the focus mode. Now if I press escape, that'll get out of that. Now let's say I, you know, you know, maybe I'm not even ready to script yet. I'm just trying to outline something. So let's go ahead and we'll create a new mind map real quick. We're using this instead of like a mind map, we're using this more of like a task list. So we'll have brainstorm idea, start scripting, film, edit, publish. And let's say I wanted to make these tasks that I could check off as I go. Well, we'll go ahead and just select all those. And if we come up here to this little checkbox button, we'll go ahead and turn those into tasks. And then they all have these little checkbox buttons here, which I can go ahead and click. And as I click these, you'll notice over here, it has a little progress circle. So as I check boxes off, that circle gets more and more complete until it's completely full and we can get that check mark there. So that's another way that you can go ahead and use MindNode. Now, if you need to create some sort of different connections, so again, you know, we have our broader task list over here. We'll go ahead and uncheck these as tasks and, you know, it's connected to something else. So let's say this is our script outline. I could go ahead 
head to this task called start scripting, I could grab this connection here and then click on that. And then now those are connected no matter where I go ahead and move either of these. And it's really nice too that you can go ahead and click on the connection itself and create some sort of arc in this, you know, if there's some other stuff on the screen that you don't want it to cover. And then up here at the top here, this is where we have images. These are those stickers that we were talking about. Um, so we can go ahead and come in here and look for any stickers, you know, again, for the scripting section here, maybe this pen would be kind of nice here. So we'll come here, we'll go stickers, we'll grab that pen. There we go. Now we have that pen, we'll go ahead and just you can do that there like that. So those are the stickers. Uh, there's also you can add emojis, photos, or I think it also now has this new integration here with image playground, uh, which is Apple's new AI image generator. And last, if we come over here to the side over here on the right hand side, we have some different formatting stuff here. So, um, you know, under this paintbrush here, we have all these different customization options here. This is for notes. So if you want to add a note to a specific node, you can there's also tags as well. And then here with this sort of like art palette, you can go ahead and change the entire look and feel of your canvas here. Let's go ahead and change this to maple. If I double click on that, we can see how it changes Go to neon, if you want something maybe a little bit lighter, you can go like that. So there's tons of different ways to change it. And as you can see, like it sort of changes the whole layout. So in the, the hierarchy of the mind map. So you know, this first section here, it's kind of outlined, and then these are blank. And if you wanted to make these bold, you could and then when you're ready to export, what you can do, you can come up here, go ahead and close that out. And you can either click this top right here, or you can come over to file export to and then you have some different options to choose from here, you can export it as a mind node, a PDF, you can export it to free mind and some others as well. So exporting is super easy and convenient. So that's just a quick little walkthrough of my node pricing plans. So my node offers two pricing options, both of which provide excellent value for what you get. The free version is great for casual users, you can create and edit mind maps, full nodes and sync your work across Apple devices. It's a really great starting point for anyone who's new to mind mapping. Now for those who need more advanced features, my node plus is available for 249 per month or 1999 per year. And this premium plan unlocks visual tags, stickers, themes and integration with external displays. Considering the range of features that it offers, the pricing is surprisingly affordable. It's a small investment for a tool that can significantly boost your productivity and creativity. Now my note is also available on set app, which is a monthly subscription that starts at 999 per month, and it gets you access to over 240 premium apps for both Mac OS and iOS. So if you want to get started with that, we'll go ahead and leave a link for that down in the description below strengths and weaknesses. My notes biggest strength is its simplicity. From the moment you open the app, everything just feels intuitive. The interface is clean, the features are easy to understand, and there's no steep learning curve at all. This makes it so accessible to a wide range of users from students to seasoned professionals. Another highlight is its integration with the Apple ecosystem. So whether you're using Mac, iPhone, iPad, or even an Apple Watch, my node syncs seamlessly across devices. This means you can start a project on your laptop, tweak it on your phone and present it on your iPad without missing a beat. Now for the weaknesses, that being said, my node does have its limitations. The biggest drawback is its exclusivity to Apple devices. So if you're an Android or Windows user, you're out of luck. Additionally, while the app offers plenty of customization options, the lack of preset templates or formatting styles can be frustrating for users who prefer quick setups. Customer support is another area where MindNode could improve. While the website offers helpful articles and guides, there's no live chat or advanced support options. So if you run into a problem, you might have to wait for an email response. Real world use cases, creative writing. If you're a writer, you know how chaotic it can be to keep track of characters, plot lines, and settings. MindNode makes it easy to organize all of these elements visually. You can start with a central idea, like your protagonist's name, and branch out to include their backstory, relationships, and key moments in the plot. It's like having a virtual cork board where everything is neatly connected. Project management. For project managers, MindNode can be a game changer. You can map out your entire project from initial brainstorming to task delegation. Assign tasks to team members, set deadlines, and use visual tags to prioritize objectives. The app's integration with task management tools ensures that nothing falls through the cracks. Personal productivity. Even if you're not managing a team or working on a big project, MindNode can help you stay organized. You can use it to plan your week, set goals, or create a shopping list. The app's flexibility makes it a valuable tool for anyone looking to boost their productivity. Comparison to competitors. So MindNode isn't the only mapping tool out there, but it does stand out in a crowded market. Alternatives like Ayoa and eDraw Max offer additional features such as AI assisted brainstorming and broader platform compatibility. But these tools can feel bloated with unnecessary features. MindNode's strength lies in its simplicity. It focuses on what matters most, helping you organize your thoughts without distractions. For Apple users, this focus makes it a 
clear winner. So is MindNode right for you? If you're an Apple user looking for a powerful yet simple mind mapping tool, then MindNode is a fantastic option. It's intuitive design, cross device syncing, and affordable pricing make it an ideal option for beginners and professionals alike. While it leaves out the Android and Windows users, and that might be a drawback, its features and usability really make up for it. So if you value organization, creativity, and productivity, then definitely give MindNode a try. It just might be the tool that you've been looking for. And if you're ready to get started with MindNode, you'll find links for it down in the description below. You can try it on its own or explore it as part of a set app subscription, which gives you access to a curated collection of incredible apps. And in fact, we went ahead and made a ton of videos on different set app apps. So go ahead and check those out on our channel. Now, if you get started with the links down in the description, they are affiliate links, which means that we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue creating free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we really appreciate it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we dive deep into different software tools, providing honest reviews and comparisons to help you discover the best software for streamlining your workflow and boosting productivity. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.